Hey guys, it's Lainey and today I'm doing a very awesome, very cool tag video. This is an original tag. This tag is the Villain Squad tag, which is inspired and in honor of one of my favorite female villain protagonist, Adelina, from The Young Elites by Marie Lou. If you don't know what The Young Elites is about, it's about this young girl named Adelina who is kind of turning out to be the villain of the story and she is the main character. She lives in a fantasy world that's kind of like the Renaissance-like era. When she was younger there was a blood fever that kind of wiped across the land where some pe young people were left with scars or sometimes powers which could be kind of sinister and Adelina has the power of illusion and she kind of learns throughout this journey of the story that her powers can be used for very dark reasons. So this tag is in honor of that because there's something very cool about supporting villains and I love a good villain. I also like when stories revolve around the villain. If The Young Elites interests you, the paperback version just came out on August 25th and the link for that is down below as well as you can pre-order the second book, The Rose Society, which comes out October 13th. Links to pre-order and purchase are going to be down in the description box down below. So I came up with some questions for this tag that is assembling your own villain squad. Basically, it's going to be really easy. The first part of this tag is creating your own villain persona and then you have to assemble some other villains to make your villain squad. The rules for this tag are are very simple. All you need to do is pull villains from books, from movies, from TV, from comics. Wherever there's villains in pop culture, you can pull them into this tag. So of course we're going to start with my villain persona. Since every villain has to have a really cool super villain name, for me my super villain name is going to be Gingerbread, obviously. And that's actually for several reasons. Last year I was in a live show with um, most of the wolf pack. I think it was the Fallen Kingdoms live show and someone thought my name was Gingerbread Laney, so they started calling me that in the comments. So that was my nickname for a little bit on Twitter. Another reason why my supervillain name is going to be Gingerbread is because if you look up YouTube search Ginger Reads Laney, what pops up next is, do you mean Gingerbread Laney? So if that's not an altered ego, I don't know what is. <laughs> what do I do? I'm obviously there to dole out every sass needed in situations. But if I could have one superpower, like an actual superpower, it would probably be teleporting, teleportation. So if that somehow fits in with a gingerbread idea, that works because I really wish I could teleport. Do you know how easy it would be if I could teleport from here to work? So that's my villain persona. I am Gingerbread, who is the sassiest of the squad and I can teleport. I cannot be a supervillain on my own. I'm gonna need some other people to help me. So the first person I need to add is the leader, and that is going to be a villain that's gonna lead my squad, and that I'm choosing Rumpelstiltskin from Once Upon a Time, which is a television show. Rumpelstiltskin is my favorite villain on that show, because there's, you know, a lot of villains on that show. Rumpelstiltskin is my favorite because he he has so much control and so much command over everybody in the Enchanted Forest. They go to him if they need something, even though they know that it's going to take part of their soul, basically, to get something that they really need. Really, really like Rumpelstiltskin to be the leader of my villain squad. The next villain is the one with the killer smile, who is a villain who is very attractive. For that one, I chose Nora Kessler from the In the Company of Killer series. This is book number four in this series, and she is introduced in this book. She is the one on the front cover. Nora is like the badass of all badass females. She's so extremely cunning, and she's described as very beautiful. She has blonde hair, she always wears lipstick and makeup, and she's super fierce, and I really admire her. I really, really love this character. Especially in this book, she is the villain of the other characters. She's there to pretty much mess with all of them. I was just picturing Amber Heard in my head when I was reading this, and I think Amber Heard is gorgeous, so that is why I chose Nora for the villain squad member who has the killer smile. The next member of my villain squad is the Loose Cannon. So he is the character that kind of marches to the own beat of his own drum. And for this one I also chose a book character, Tyler Durden from Fight Club. He's played by Brad Pitt in the movies and his sole purpose in this book is to create mayhem and destruction and pretty much overpowers our unnamed narrator who is the narrator of the story. So I definitely think that he would be a problem character in my squad. The next member of my villain squad is the unhinged one which is the one that is not playing with a full deck of cards and for that one I of course have to choose my favorite villain from Buffy and that is Glory who it was the season 5 big bad. Glory is a god and 
the only way she's able to sustain her life on um, our plane, our earth, is by sharing her godly essence with a mortal. It's too much energy for a mortal to carry, so it kind of makes her crazy. And she actually needs to feed off of humans, and by feeding off of their life essence, she makes them crazy in the process. I love Glory. She was my favorite female villain. I think she is my favorite female villain because she's just so awesome. The Redeemer, who is the villain that is likely to play both sides even though he's considered a villain. He's still morally gray. And for that, I am choosing the book character Feral Grayson from A Book of Spirit and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes, especially towards the end. The path he's going down is not the good one. However, he's very morally gray because he also feels deep in his heart that what he's doing is not right, but he can't help it. And I like those kind of characters. The next member of my villain squad is the evil one. The one that's just plain evil. And for that, I'm choosing one of my favorite evil serial killer villains from the movies, and that is John Doe from the movie Seven. He's played by Kevin Spacey, and Kevin Spacey is perfect in this movie. He's so creepy and so calm. There's something creepy about killers that can just stand there and know that they're in control of a situation even though they're surrounded by police officers. You know, you know that feeling? And for the last member of my villain squad, it is the once be good character. The one that used to be good, but then somewhere along, along the lines, something happens where they decide to go to the dark side. And for that one, I'm actually going to be choosing another movie character, and that is going to be Jigsaw from the Saw franchise. One of the reasons why I'm choosing him is because I don't want him against me. So I'd rather have him with me than against me, you know what I mean? Jigsaw is a character that used to just be a regular guy. He used to have a, you know, a wife and he used to have a life and then something happens and then he just turns evil. Man, Jigsaw haunted my dreams a lot when I was younger because I grew up with those movies. I don't know why I kept watching those movies. What's interesting about his villainistic tendencies is that he used to be a good person. He used to just be a normal, regular human being before he went evil. So that's it for my villain squad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am tagging a lot of people. I'm tagging you who are watching this video, as well as I'm tagging my own personal real life villain squad, obviously the wolf pack. I hope you guys all have a really great day and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!